Hello folks, uh, today I'm going to show you how you can repair watch winder. So I think I bought this one probably two years ago. So uh, therefore I checked out and all of my uh, automatic watch stopped working. So therefore I checked out. So this watch winder uh, no longer active. So, let's check it out. So, here is my watch winder. Here is... So, inside, nothing is working. So, therefore, uh, in my inspection, it looks like uh, two motors is out. So, therefore, today, I'm going to show you how I can replace the motor, old one, that one is take it out and then install a new one and then how I can repair this watch winder. Okay, the first one. So I have to pull out uh, the watch holder. So this one I can trip left the sound and then take it out right or left so you can feel it so this is movable and then two screwdrivers And then you can see uh, there is another two screwdriver I already pulled out because I have the inspection first uh, to making this DIY step-by-step -step video. So I already took out over here, take it out, pull gently. Okay. Pull not using your all the way strengths, just gently pulled out, okay, slowly. Because behind this panel, there is electronic board to controlling the motors. Okay, working gently, gently, okay. So, it's coming out. And here, inside, there is two, uh, the power, cable so pulling out gently gently okay Ooh. so I put this away under the table just for a while So now I have to work into this one. Okay. Now here is a bolt. So I have to take it out, this one. Here is. Okay, so this is dead motor, and then here is new motor. Uh, I just want to wait, and then you can run. And then over here, that's enough. So this one calling it. Mabushi motor, it looks 
identical, right? It looks very identical. Okay. some motor and then this is very important field pin uh, this one is rolling with uh, this rubber band so I have to take it out uh, there is two screw over here oh this is too big okay folks I found a new screwdriver so this is much faster so previous one is not really working all right over here. So uh, this is dead motor. And here is a three pack bundle. This is new motor, the second motor. All right. So uh, here I have to remove this uh, electronic wire from the dead motor and then move on here. Okay folks, here is thing. Uh, there is iron scording, electronic iron scording. I connected with wire and this is a lead and here is my motor. So let's working on one by one. So uh, here I have to push on button. I have to match in almost 400 Celsius. It's very hot. It should be very hot. Yeah. All right. Can you see that? Remove. Okay, so let's move down. <laughs> Second one. Because I can simply connect, however, I just want to keep uh, electronic wires uh, lengthless. So therefore, I am working right this way. All right, and then here, simply I cut it out a little bit. Unnecessary part. All right. All right. So this is the wire. And here is my uh, new motor. Let's move in. each other a little bit and here's the second part all right all right moving in to the tiny hole and then hold it all right and then my uh, scording iron, I'm going to put this lead over here to make a very firm holding, all right? OK. 
Okay, the other side. So when you're working with uh, electron excluding iron and the lead, you must not forget to wearing face mask. This is for your safety. Right. Here is the second part. Okay. All right. Turn to the green light. Then power off. Unplug. Okay, folks, uh, let's assemble a new motor over here. So, Okay, folks, uh, this is new motor, and then uh, this is old motor, it's already dead. But one thing different between these two motors will be over here. So this one has uh, just pin plus pulley, and new motor, this one has only just pin. So therefore, uh, without this pulley, so I cannot install rubber band between gear and this motor. So therefore, I have to buy uh, some new part. So I researched it from all over the internet. And then, uh, this is for the elementary school students, uh, for their uh, science class kit. So I found that there is lots of rubber band. So if a uh, rubber band is, looks very old and then it's ready to disconnect. Maybe I can have a new lower band and also here is a lot of pulley. So let's find out which pulley will be best. Okay, folks. Uh, <laughs> I just tried to find out some uh, right pulley, but this is so small, tiny. But here is a little bigger one. But when I just pushed into this pin, it just right into the fit. And then I cannot pull out. So here is another one. Yeah. So this size is perfectly working. This is a little bit bigger, but however, I will try to assemble to the, the motor box. So let's try it. Here it is. Uh, I have to put the pulley over this pin. Okay. All the way down. All right. Next. All right. And here is a rubber band. All the way pulley and over here. Okay. And the other one going to over here. And two gears should be rotating each other. All right. So last one. Okay. Like this. Okay, so let's assemble this pin set. So, uh, always when I finalize the process, I have to be careful. So, before I will be assembling two motors into the panel, so I have to test again. So, previously, new motors have been stored with a wide different wire, you can find, but I have to assemble the gears. So, I'll be carefully and then I'll run the air conditioner. So, let's check it out one more time. 
So let's move on. Okay, folks. Uh, this is my uh, watch winder. So let's open it. All right. And then here is motor and wire should go into electronic panel over here. All right. And then when I turn on the power button, uh, this rotator should be moving around. All right. And then uh, here is power button. Let's see. Oh, can you see? So motor is working, which means pulley, rubber band, and gears, they are perfectly working. So uh, now it's a fun part. We have to assemble again, finalizing this repair process. Let's move on. Okay, this is fun part. So this is a panel. I have to assemble like this. Okay, so that's fine. All right, so let's install this one to my watch finder. Let's move on. Okay, so let's install over here. Yeah. And the power cable should go over here first. Uh, second power cable should go over here. All right, that's good. And then something. And then over here. All right, last one. All right. So, watch your holder. So, this one should go over here. All right. This one should go over here. All right. Two more. Screws. And then put there. All right. Second one. Put. Okay. So and then let's turn on the switch. Yay! I fixed it! I fixed the new motor. I replaced the entire dead motor to the new motor. And then right now my watch finder is back to alive. So I saved lots of money. Okay, thank you so much.